Okay, so this is one of those, one of those lies here of secular media about your homosexuality. Please don't misunderstand. I'm not offending anybody, but make some people. But. Green, and you're watching D News. Despite the fact that homosexuality is observed in over 1,500 different species in the animal kingdom, there is still a debate amongst the Homo sapiens about whether or not homosexuality is natural. People who think that homosexuality isn't natural think of it as a choice or a lifestyle, that the natural preference is for the opposite sex. Others say that it's not a choice, it's an inherent preference for the same sex, that just like straight people don't choose who they're attracted to, neither do gay people. Science has dug its way into this hot debate, owing to a few popular studies conducted in the past 20 years, the leading thought is that homosexuality is genetic. It's something you inherit. Although... Uh, that definitely is a straw man's argument. Because, you see, all the animals here... All the animals here... They're only always male or female. Either male or female, though. That's all. People have nothing to do. Uh, we can uh, use that homosexuality is simply a choice, and most people make. Do you think the children always think about ho homosexuality? Like this, therefore, we all conclude that homosexuality is not genetic. Simple as that. Generally speaking, gay and lesbian folks are less likely to have children. So, how then is it possible for a gene to be passed on to 8% of the population? A new study that came out recently claims to have an answer to this question. I honestly find this very terrible. I mean, every gene of a mother and a father, it's just destroyed if you have two mothers or two fathers. That's, I honestly find this horrible. I can just tell you this. Sorry for the children. The genetics. Epigenetics refers to a change in how a gene is expressed. The expression is changed not by a change in the DNA sequence, but by other mechanisms. In this case, changing exposure to testosterone in the womb. So to understand this, we ought to back up a little bit. In biology class, you learn that an XX chromosome means that the baby will become a female, and an XY chromosome will develop into a male. But why does XY become a male? Well, because genes on the Y chromosome trigger the release of testosterone, which prompts the development of other male characteristics. Now, during this process, the hormone release is regulated by FMRs, or sex-related genes that are turned on and off to keep male or female development on a steady course, even when hormones are spiking and dipping and all kinds of crazy pregnancy things are happening. This regu- Yeah. Yes, that's a very thing, but we need... I don't think that kind of science is false, of course not. But... But I don't know. Don't follow anything in that of... Regulation process okay. called the changes controls how masculine or feminine a fetus is. Now, normally, epi changes are erased after they're activated. They aren't supposed to be passed. I think here, like in the comedy, you'd say, so according to this, my homophobic grandparents might be quite, quite ironic. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, if you someone say that you're homophobic or something like that, or, hmm, said you, that was a hate speech and that I hate. And I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have, really, uh, but I'm not in homosexuality. That must be there's a difference. I mean, if I say that, I don't think that smoking is okay, um, and destroys the lungs, then I'm not speaking against smokers. Of course not. Please understand this. triggered by the environment, but occasionally they do pass. And when that child has children of their own, the idea is that child could be gay. Kind of confusing, mm. I know, but... Yeah, mm, what's the argument? Because no child... Hey, I mean, good on, on that is very... I'm sorry, but I find those arguments funny. Basically, it's about hormone exposure in the womb that affects 
sexual preferences in offspring a generation down the line. Now, the study is not conclusive, but it is scientifically significant. We're slowly advancing our understanding of homosexuality, a great evolutionary question. It's also socially significant. Yeah, we can see evolution is true, but I can prove why evolution is a lie. Great way that you developed, but animals. No, it was not natural preferences we have already created. Oh, oh. Because one of the main arguments used to justify discrimination against LGBT folks is that they're choosing uh, to be gay. Um, so I'm too, I, I don't hate him on a Tumblr at the very beginning of this year, and people call me a homophobe because and I'm not friends, but that's because again, that's what we would consider a typical Republican. Yes, in some way I'm a Republican because probably against teach, but the conservative, you know, as conservative, but well, we, I'm not trying to justify patient, but if you say, hey, I mean, I've already mentioned it. I also think that, that stealing is not okay. However, that's not how, that, that I, that we, Discriminate bank robbers. Let's see. This is a bad choice, so they deserve to be punished with discriminatory policies. But as this research, I don't think at all that it should be punished. I rather think it should be healed. How many people had set free from that? So it's not that once you're gay, you're always gay. Unravels. We're starting to see that sexual orientation may not actually be a lifestyle choice. That it very well could be an immutable characteristic. Something that you can't change, just like your race or your sex. Yes, uh, you know, there's definitely such a form of gaze. I've heard of that, that you know, it's not normal. You're not we're born, you're born the way. Facts. And since we now legally acknowledge that racism and sexism are kind of not okay, maybe society at large can extend that attitude to homophobia as well. In that sense, research like this moves us forward toward a more tolerant and peaceful world. We should be going with the being tolerant because also be tolerant to murder, said or even or to rapists. Do you see the problem if we tolerant to everything? Tolerant again, it's not against homosexuals, such a there are many people Christian like the West Coast Baptist Church or Stephen Anderson that is not the true Cool, no, but wants to be be free. You can be set free from that. Can so it's possible. It's not something like a disability. That's but so the yeah, that this woman here brought up that. Homosexuality is genetic is just absurd missing the mark. We make this choice we slip. Kind of thing and then cut to eights. To eights. I hope you see I could prove why homosexuality is not genetic. Bye.